Hey guys, today I've got a Maytag Bravos XL washer and uh, I've got it set up, uh, deep water wash cycle. It's got all kinds of adjustments and settings you can do on here for super heavy loads that you need real deep water with or lighter loads or even delicates. It's got a soak option, so you can pause and check out all those if you want. They're also in the listing description. But uh, got it hooked up, running through a load right now, as if you were standing here yourself, testing it out. That's how I like to sell my items. That's also how I like to buy my stuff. So I do these videos so you can see that everything's working perfect. When you get it home, plug it in, you'll be good to go. It's gonna sense how heavy this load is, go ahead and fill up with water and start the wash cycle. And I'm gonna come back and show you as it moves through here that uh, everything's working perfect. So we'll give it a chance to go ahead and fill up and we'll come right back. All right, and we're back. It has moved into the wash. It's done sensing. It's got those clothes just at about full submersion. And it'll go through quite a few different agitation styles, short, long, and then a fast. Uh, right now, it's, it might still stop and add a little bit more water, but it's got quite a bit of time left on it. And this will also fluctuate a little bit too as it continues to sense the load. But, uh, We'll allow it to move through and come back, show you that the water drains out and it's got a nice, fast, smooth spin cycle. Okay, same kind of deal. We're back on rinse. It's filled up with clean water, rinsing those clothes down. Same kind of thing. The agitator plate on the bottom is kicking. Looks like it's even adding just a little bit more water. Still doing its thing. So the next thing we'll come back for is that final spin. We're on the final spin cycle. See, it's got a nice, fast, smooth spin. Running real fast inside of there. And I believe it actually gets a little faster than this too, but it'll run for the next seven or eight minutes. And do an excellent job of extracting the water out of those clothes, which kind of cuts your drying time in half versus the old machines that didn't spin nearly as fast which is also why you can't lift the lid up here too it's locked down so we'll go ahead and let that finish up and we'll move on to the dryer okay moving on to the dryer we've got a Maytag Centennial dryer kind of with the same color accents tons of different options here for your heavy duty all the way down to your delicates air fluff um, you've got a nice loud signal on there. Just push to start. I've got it running right now. And the lint traps on top here. I'm gonna show you that it is in fact heating like it's supposed to. So right in between those two red dots, you're gonna get a service temperature measurement. So it's about 86 on top of the, uh, on top here. You see it changes as I shine it on different things, about 74 on the ground. So go ahead and open this up here. I'm gonna shoot it right inside the heating element tube. You see there's plenty of heat coming out of that tube right there. So your heating element's back behind here. Heat comes up, circulates, dries your clothes, and then out where the lint trap can trap the lint, and then back out the back of the machine. So uh, nice bright light. Everything's nice and clean head to toe. Let's hit go there. You can see it's a nice smooth operation. And we'll go ahead and get this listed up for sale. I do appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks and have a great day.